Hey guys, what's up? Tyler with T Game and Tech, and today I'm going to be reviewing a free game from the App Store called Snappers. And Snappers is basically a game where you snap these little things and try to blow up other little things. So it may not make sense now, but it'll make more sense once you actually get into it. So once you hit play, you can see all the different levels you have, and all these are locked because you haven't finished the first ones from Paris. So if we just go to the very first level, I'm basically you're going to learn how to actually play the game. So you click on these little snappers to actually snap them and little radar things go up, down, left, and right um, so which snap other snappers. And in the menu here at the pause menu you have your uh, menu button to restart the level um, to go forward to the next level and to go to the store. So if we just go forward to the next level, this is actually the second level and as you can see it's a little more complicated. You have actually more than one snapper um, but you can see the whole game, the whole level can be beaten in one little snap. So basically throughout this game you get more complicated snappers such as this green one which actually takes two taps. It looks like it tapped it three times, it was actually twice. But some of these snappers take three or four taps. So this is a more complicated level, even more complicated than the other ones. Um, and basically it takes two moves to finish this level. As you can see, I failed this level. But right here at the bottom you have a chart of which snappers go to which. You have your blue, it goes to orange, it goes to green, it goes to red, which when you tap on the red, red snaps. So if we just restart this level, um, we're going to figure out how to actually do this level. Um, it does take two snaps, and it does take a while sometimes to get them, but eventually either you either get lucky or you think about it for a while and you actually figure the level out. As you can see, the further you go, the even more complicated levels actually get. Um, you have all different kinds of snappers in one level. As you can see, this one costs two snaps or two taps to actually finish this level. Um, that, all that was just one tap, and this was just two taps. Um, so sometimes, like I said, you get lucky. Other times you have to sit there and think it in your mind, process it, try to figure out how the level actually works. So basically that's all there is to this game. You tap these little snappers that snap and then these little radars go and they snap other snappers. Um, this game is an easy concept, but some of the levels actually can be really hard. But as you can see, a level like this looked really complicated, but after a while it seems kind of easy and you figure out what you need to do and how you need to solve it. So if we go back to the actual world selection screen, you can see that, like before, there's all kinds of levels you can select. We don't know what they actually are because of the question mark on there, but you can purchase them. They are expensive though, so I wouldn't suggest that. They're like 10 bucks to unlock a pack um, if you want to lock it right away, but the other easier way is just to try to play through the level and actually unlock as you go. So I would suggest this game if somebody's looking for a free game to download to keep them busy. And like I said earlier, the concept's easy, but some of the levels actually get pretty hard. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content about tech and games. And once again, like always, thank you guys for watching my videos, and I'll see you in the next one.